hem our boxer shorts. So we'll take our boxer shorts and we can place them on the ironing board here and we will press open our inside leg seam like this. What we want to do is we want to press up from the raw edge, fold it over and have a hem allowance here of two and a half centimeters. There we go. So take your measuring tape, don't let it get near the iron because that will melt it, and measure it here to see if you have two and a half centimeters. If you do, then give it a little press. Take that over to the side here, and then on this side again, look at this and measure it to see that you have two and a half centimeters. Press here and just hold there and this all lines up at two and a half centimeters too. We'll double check on that one. Nice. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. Let's press there. So let's check it here. You want it two and a half centimeters is also about one inch. So let's just check in the middle here that we're at two and a half centimeters. Good. And let's just press on this line. So we're pressing our hem up at two and a half centimeters, all the way around both the left and the right leg. Once we've done that, we're going to take this and we're going to open it up and take the raw edge to the fold. So take the raw edge to the fold and turn it over so it becomes enclosed. There's no raw edges on our garment. We're always finishing our seam allowance. So now, this is our hem. This is how big our hem should look. It should be about 1.2 centimeters. So the raw edge to the fold and then turn over again. We're hiding all the raw frayed edges. Alright, now we're going to go over to our sewing machine and we're going to, we want to sew from the inside the circle, so this would be inside the circle, but if we sew this way there's a good chance we could sew on top of ourselves, so we'll just turn our shorts, I'm going to take my hand up and through and I'm going to turn them over and now I've got my shorts inside out, so now I'm inside here. And then when I put this on the machine, there's a less chance that I'll sew accidentally sew on myself. Before I start sewing though, I'm going to take my garment to the table and I'm going to use some pins. And I'm going to pin to hold it down so that it doesn't move while I'm sewing. So I need about five or six or seven pins all the way around. So make sure you're holding the hem down with your pin, so poke in and then up, like that. Okay, now let's go to our sewing machine. I've already tested my sewing machine to make sure that I like the stitches. I checked it before I sat down, so I know that it's going to sew well. I'm on A03 for my straight stitch on this Baby Lock 4000. And I'm going to put... I'm going to look in here and I'm going to look at this little rectangle on this pressure foot and I'm going to see that when I put my needle down and I put my pressure foot down I should be able to see just the edge of my garment here, the edge of the hem. It'll become a bit easier to see when I stitch forward a little bit, alright? When I do this I want to make sure that my garment is flat on the sewing machine. Take that in like that. Oops not behaving so here we go all right so let's go forward with our straight stitch look in here I just need to be able to see the edge of my pressure foot 
I'm sorry, the edge of my hem here. I'm looking in my pressure foot and I wanna see that I'm edge stitching along here. And making sure that I stop and check to make sure my garment is flat. When I wanna pull my pin out, I make sure the needle, the sewing machine needle is engaged in the fabric so I don't move my fabric off the straight sewing, sewing uh, line that I've created. So keep looking in there. This is where my eyes are looking, right in there. Keep lifting it up to make sure that I'm sewing straight and flat, that there aren't any wrinkles or anything happening as I'm sewing. Make sure your needle is down when you're moving your fabric around so you keep your straight line of stitching going forward. And always stop and check to see that you're going straight and you're not accidentally stitching or creating a pleat anywhere. This, throat, this fabric on here should be nice and flat. These threads are coming through. I don't want my threads tangled underneath. Now, if you're coming up here and it's a bit hard because it's a bit lumpy, just take your hand behind and just guide your thread, just by your fabric, just by holding it, not by pulling, because you don't want to change the stitch length. And then I want you to sew right on top of the stitches you started with, just right there. That's good. Okay, let's open it. Take up lever comes all the way up to the top when you want to move your fabric out and bring it to this corner. And then when you trim your threads, you won't have to. Um, re-thread your sewing machine. So there's one hem done by using our, our um, iron to help us press. I want to show you another way. If the iron is busy in class and you don't, you can't get to use it and you you need to get going on this. Can't spend one student to the fine arts. Or just spend one student to the fine arts. Take your um, hands and just press down two and a half centimeters. So check to make sure that you are two and a half centimeters over here. Let's just check that. And you can do this on the table. You don't have to wait. Okay, so press it like that with your finger, that's called finger pressing, and then take, you can see the fold there, take your raw edge to the fold and turn it over so you're enclosing the raw edge, and then pin it down and up so you hold your hem down. So do that in a, uh, along your hem, and then you will be able to do this even if you don't have the use of the iron in that class. You can still get your raw edge to the fold, turn it over, make sure it's nice and flat, And then in between, just put in another pin here and pin all the way around so that you can do your hem in the time that we have allotted. So you have already gone ahead and pinned some of this using that same method that I was talking about here. We always want to start our seams from the inside leg seam. So we do our hemming stitching from here. That way we don't, it becomes hard to see, um, difficult when people come and look at it. It's hard to see where actually the beginning and the end is, as you can see. So start here on the inside leg seam when you're doing your stitching. Nobody will ever know where the beginning or the end is. And that's the kind of hem we want to see finished. <laughs>